everything's a lie. What Everything. we've been telling you is a lie. The truth has finally been revealed. <laughs> we have been lying to you. One, two, who's starting this? You. All right. Welcome to Staying Relevant. The podcast, oh, that was high, wasn't it? The podcast. That, that was, with, you, you, how did you get Welcome to Staying Relevant and then forget what was next? <laughs> I, I don't know, I just it, went really high. You surprised high. yourself. <laughs> oh, did you scare yourself about how high you went? <laughs> I, I just panicked because normally you do the intro now. Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast with two best pals. And uh... <laughs> why are you looking at the cards? this. All right, let's just get this done. Otherwise, we'll spend all day just doing an intro. Um, I will be swearing. If you don't like that, go f*** yourself. I'm still not drinking on the podcast. Uh, but he has a Fanta. I have a Fanta and some Oreos and lots of fingers. We do, actually. We've got loads of chalky fingers. Make sure you rate, review and do all that crap. Uh, follow us at Staying Relevant Podcast on Instagram, on YouTube, on Snappy C, on TikTok. We come out every Monday, Audible. Audible? Audibly. Audibly. Yeah. I can never get that right. Yeah. Every Thursday with the bonus episode, and then you can watch them respectively on Fridays and Sundays. So it's Monday, Thursday, Friday, Friday Sunday. Sunday. See, this yeah. is good. Yeah. The bonus episode's going down a storm, actually, as well, apparently. Although people say it's not long enough, but I'll tell you why it's not long enough. We don't have time. No, no, we will make time. We won't. Pete, I will... Don't... For all the viewers out there and listeners... I promise you, as my pledge, that I will get Pete to do a longer bonus episode. Okay. I'm just going to point out that it's always Sam that doesn't have time. But I will make sure that we do it. Okay. We won't. If the people want it, we should actually probably do that. We just don't have time to do it. And also, the, the Thursday one, it's not a whole episode. It's a bonus episode. They're a bit tighter. They're yeah, they are. Both, yeah. <laughs> Pinching on the legs. Um, it's just like a little, just a hit to get you through the week. And you need to review. We love a review. We read the reviews. Although I stopped for a little bit because everyone's told me to stop shouting and that bummed me out a little And bit. then he went on the jungle and now all anyone says is, my God, I love Sam. To Pete's absolute despair. <laughs> Uh, it's almost as if I don't exist. Come on! We've turned the tables! Yeah, we've turned the table. That's absolutely fine, you fucking bastard. Oh, oh, socials. Have we spoken about socials? Yes, I've just done the socials. Right, you can catch us on Instagram and TikTok. Just did it. At Staying Relevant Podcast. You can see all of our clips as I well. I literally have just done Throughout it. the week on on Snapchat yes, as well. Very Snappy similar to what C. I said literally three minutes ago. Well, they didn't hear you, to be honest with you. And Why uh, would they not hear me? Because, they... Pete... I'm back in the building now. I've Can got you my, hear me? I've got my tight cargo pants Hello? on. Hello? Alan! I knew that was coming. <laughs> I just knew it was I coming. Joke, I joke. Someone even said on the comments, because I read the comments, someone went, someone went, I love it when Pete does the Alan thing. And I went, I don't understand Alan. it. But I don't get it. But we'll talk about that later. Peter. We won't. What have you been up to? No, we did, listen, the, the, the what have we been up to thing? And look, why are you trying to be the driver today? Well, I don't know. I'm panicking a yeah, bit. Well, don't. Sit okay, back okay, fine. Okay, passenger princess. Sit back and relax. What have you been up to? Drive me. What have you... <laughs> Drive me? Nah, what have you been up to? What have, I, what have I been up to? Well, I'll tell you what you've been up to. Yes! Um, actually, it's what we've been up to. Last night, we had a sort of a, a weird moment, didn't we? I can't remember what we did last night. Oh, we did! Last night we had a weird moment. Basically, everything's a lie. Everything. What we've been telling you is a lie. The truth has finally been revealed. <laughs> we have been lying to you for six years. Six gosh darn years. Everything you thought was true has come crumbling down. Your life as you know it has crumbled our lives as we know it has crumbled, actually. This is quite big news. And I'll tell you why. Sam and I knew each other before we knew each other. We were best mates. We were best pals before we were even best pals. How cool is that? That is a liar <laughs> because I don't even remember meeting Sam. <laughs> but there's photo but there's evidence. Video and photo evidence of it. So, Sam and I... And who was this, Georgia? Sam's one of Sam's managers, one of the 15 people that um, he employs to look after him. Uh, Georgia, she's my favourite one. She sent in a picture to our group of Sam and I. Well, actually, no, it, it wasn't, it, it was Sam and I, but of me grabbing Sam's throat and shaving him. 
Oh, yeah, baby. It was so good. So we just... You don't remember I it. do remember. I told you I remember snippets, actually, so that's a lie. Don't I lie remember. I do not have any recollection of being there, of touching him, of knowing him, of meeting him, of shaving him. Yeah. Yeah. So let me just give you a little bit of background and context to this story. So uh, this is in 2018, in January. And um, and so so me and Pete, we're just minding our own business uh, and, and just chilling. I think I'm on the radio and Pete's at home and we're sort of like, so we're not even together at this point. Loads of context here, I feel like. Maybe I'll you give too much context. You weren't doing the radio in six years no no as in like when we found out last night oh right yeah I was so, going to say I thought how long do you think you're not fucking Chris Moyles mate <laughs> <laughs> so 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 we get this ding on the phone right and it's this video and we first of all I thought that it was after we had met because we are talking I literally am speaking to Pete like we're best friends and it really, really melted my heart. It's so lovely. And Pete's like grabbing me tenderly around the throat and, uh, and, 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 and shaving my beard. And it's way before we'd ever even met. So Sam has given you no context there, <laughs> all right? The context is it was an event for Wilkinson Sword. Is that I was just for? randomly shaving Sam when we met, all right? I didn't just go, do you know what you need to shave? Don't worry, I've got a razor here. It was for an event. Now, I've had the context given to me by Ellen this morning, who came with me. Ellen being his manager. Ellen being uh, my manager. Um, and she said that it was an event that I was paid to go to for, for, for a job. She said, it's one of the most miserable nights I've ever had with you. <laughs> Uh, I asked her why, and I was going through a breakup at the time. Megan McKenna. They wanted me to do, uh, I'm not sure if it was, I think it must have been around that time, but um, they wanted me to do some press stuff. I refused, <laughs> and actually part of my job was uh, for me to be shaved there. I got there and went, nah. And they were like, sorry, what? Uh, I said, you ain't fucking shaving me. So, so they had to find someone else for me to shave. They went and plucked a willing young buck from the crowd, being Sam Thompson, who was just there because he got invited to the event and he thought it'd be a good thing to go to as he was making his way through the industry. See, Pete was... A very, quite a big dog at that point. Terry was flying. He was in the big relationship. Megan McKenna, like those two, like was all over the magazine. Because back then, magazines were like a big deal. And like, so, and, and, and so are. I knew. We'll I, get to that. I, Pete just pointed at my fabulous cover, which. I wow, know. see. Don't. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that Make later. my heart. We'll talk see. about it later. <laughs> but, but, fucking hell. But this is a tough <laughs> episode for me. I can feel it. And I actually remember snippets of it. It was years ago. And I remember... Yeah, six. Being, ...being sat in the chair, right? And like... And I, I, I feel like I do actually remember it. And being like, oh my God, that's Pete Wicks. Like, that's fucking Pete Wicks shaving me. And we, we're going to look, we're going to put a photo as well, like on the visuals. So if you want to go on our, on our social stuff, you can see it. And it is... Pete looks so different... <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. He looks a, angry. It like, was a, it really was, angry. It was a tough time for me. I did not look my healthiest. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I potentially looked like I'd been dug up. Um, it is not a great look. Um, uh, and possibly some of the worst photos I've ever seen of myself. But it was a tough time. I don't think I knew who Sam was. He didn't. He had no idea who I was. I think that he worked for, for fucking Wilkinson Sword. Um, but anyway. No, no, no. We're not done because there is a video. There's yeah. a video, and I'm just going to play it now because one of the things that I love about this, Pete, is the fact that I'm talking to him like we're best mates already. It was fucking meant to be. Like, I'm literally speaking to him like now I speak to him here. Listen to this. Really smooth. I don't even know what that means. It's I, a great shave. Really smooth. Just really, just the whole thing was really odd. So what happens then is that obviously that that I just block from my memory. We go on Celebs Go Dating. Sam, you know, when, this is a story we've told loads of times about when we first met. So I, I was the first into this little fucking brunch thing they had. Sam was the last one in. This isn't a very nice story, by the way. And I remember him coming in and I remember going to him, it's so nice to meet you. Imagine I that. I literally had no fucking idea that what. <laughs> I'd shaved him. Do you know what Pete actually doesn't understand either? I've actually met Pete before that again. And I remember this. Yeah, I don't even think I've mentioned this before. So I met Pete 
this is why when Pete went nice to meet you, it really hurt my soul. <laughs> because I literally met Pete two weeks prior <laughs> to Slebs Go Dating <laughs> at a nightclub. <laughs> we went to... Another lie! <laughs> yeah, we met. And uh, so, so we were at this nightclub. And Pete, there's like two levels to it, right? And so I'm downstairs and someone goes, oh, Pete Wicks is upstairs. I've never told this story. So I'm going, Pete Wicks is upstairs. And I was like, oh, wow. And so I was like, this is going to be quite cool. I'll go upstairs. And I met you because you know there's two levels. Yeah. I met you by the bar on the second level. Why have you never said this? I to don't me? know. I didn't even think. I just it didn't even. I didn't even think. And I went up and I went and, and I went. Oh hi, man. Like how are you? And I was really nervous. And Pete went. Oh yeah, you good. And I went. I heard that you might be doing slebs go dating. And you went. And you went. Oh, are you doing it? And I went. I am. Yeah. So not only did we meet before slebs go dating, we both said to each other, "Oh, we're doing it. I'll see you there." Right. Pete then fucking walks in two weeks later to think and goes, nice to meet you. <laughs> Absolutely no record. I didn't realise you were that pissed. Because in that club, so, so upstairs is where they like have all the sofas. and Yeah, the, yeah, like that's the, where it was, the, by the bar on the, the right-hand the, side. The VIP, yeah. like, fucking, like, who was I with? No, I didn't. Was I just on my own? No, no, you were with, with a few people, I can't remember who. I don't remember at all. And I literally went up to him and went, oh my God, we're going, I think you're, you're coming to that show. I'm going to that show. Two people went, yeah, I'm going to that show. I'll see you there. God, like so we I... had like a proper like moment where so we like I'm... spoke about it. Well, it was evidently a moment for one of us. <laughs> and I literally went in when Pete walked in, I looked at him and I went, do you know what? Watch it back. So I look at him and you see my face go, <laughs> and I look at him going, Pete, do you remember me? And he goes, ah, oh, nice to meet you. I go, you fucking bastard. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Well... That How have we been that friends? Hasn't made me look good at all. How have we been best mates for years and years, and I haven't even told that story? That's wild to me. So everything you know about us and everything that I knew about us is a lie. <laughs> but weirdly, the Wilkinson sword thing is actually like way more like friendly between us. Like he's like st grabbing my neck and shave. <laughs> By the way, I don't have a beard at this point either. No. So he's just shaving nothing. Well, because this was six years ago and this was, uh, was this pre-teeth? This is just post-teeth actually, so it was yeah. just post-teeth. So Sam didn't have a beard at the time. So I think I just thought, Phew. And it all came off. Yeah. But I had to pretend to, to shave it. But we're it. really chatting and stuff. And it's really, it's 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 like now. We really got along in that little clip. Yeah, I remember it so well. Anyway, so yeah, there's a, a little backstory to us. Look at that. If Do you know what? The now universe. Look at, look at us now. Yeah, the universe What's works. What's that Paul Rudd fucking clip? Yeah, look at us. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Hey, let's touch. Who'd have thought? Let's touch. Well, we don't need to do that. Let's touch. Come on, bring it in. Touch me. Oh, and then look at us now. The universe just literally making moves for us, knowing we were soulmates and just being like, these boys have... Do you know what that is? That's God fucking with us. That's God being like, hey, man, do you know what? You're going to be best mates, but you don't even know. By the sounds of both of them stories, that sounds like tequila fucking with me. <laughs> um, anyway, so, so yeah, just a little update on our... Um, our lies. I love that. I love that. Those little things that come back after six years. It's like, oh my God. Do you reckon in another six years' time, it's going to turn out that actually we went to school together? <laughs> and he's actually called Tarquin. Yeah. 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 Monty. Yeah. Pete Wicks, previous, formerly known as Monty. <laughs> um, anyway, the next one is a big one for me that I didn't even realise. Now, I've had a lot of uh, abuse recently over my outfit choices, and I can't <laughs> understand why, because I wear iconic footwear. Clark's have been commenting. No, they haven't. Yes. No, they have not. Clark's Originals have been commenting on my posts. Clark's Originals have called me classy. Yeah, I bought a new pair. Are those Clark's? Yes. So I've got uh, multiple pairs of multiple Look colours. at his little hoofs. But this week I bought a pair that have uh, beads on them. Do you know, what, you know what I find funny about Pete, right? Is that everyone's mugged him off. He's such a little rebel. That like he's like, well, if you don't like it, I'm gonna buy twenty pairs. Can I just point out when when he says everyone's mugged me off, shall we go to the comments? Because actually, everyone has agreed with me. His little booties. He's everyone has agreed with me and said that 
is a fucking iconic show. Everyone loves them. Everyone remembers theirs. It's just Granted, fun. a lot of people had them in the 80s, yeah. not in the, the 2020s. Also, but... Clarks as well. What a name, Clarks. No, but it's Clarks Originals. This this is not... You're missing this, all right? Listen, you and your fucking skin-tight fucking cargo shorts and your shoes, which are so horrendous. Who ties their laces like that still, by the way? <laughs> Who tucks them in? I tuck them. You tuck them in, don't yeah. you? Yeah. The, the, the last thing you can take the piss out of me for is fashion. But whilst we're on the topic of fashion, because obviously it got such a big response last week, the uh, date night outfit. Uh, <laughs> I said to everyone, prepare yourselves for date night number two. And you didn't let us down. I told you. Full, I told, but do you know what annoys me? Full tuxedo. What do you want to annoy me? Loads of messages being like, Listen, staying relevant. I know, but you're doing this for the gram. And I was like, fuck, I am. You've got me. You've absolutely got me. And Pete's done me over there. You like, at least 20 comments being like, well, I've listened to YP and I know the reason you've done that. I was like, no! Uh, still did well, though, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did yeah okay. so Sam was still happy. Do you know still, what? Still over 100,000 likes. Just uh, just left the uh, left the, the purple purple hoodie in the wash as well. I thought that was quite a good little comment thing there. All right. Yeah, no, no, you enjoyed the caption. Yeah. Do you know what annoys me about Pete as well? Like, if we're on the subject of social media, Pete puts no effort into social media whatsoever. Like, at all. He literally takes a stupid photo of him wearing, like, some stupid pink jumper and just, like, he gets, like, 700 comments. Like, and I read some of them because I'm like, what the fuck are people saying? I don't even read the comments. He, get, mate, he, get, he literally, he, he does a selfie of him. How many selfies have we seen Pete do, right? And, and like, literally, this is what he did on the 17th of January. No caption, dot, 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 right? And it's literally just him. It's just him staring down the camera. It's a selfie. He's got 384 comments. I would have five. Like, I don't understand. Pete's an icon. Oh, God. It, honestly, it's not that I'm bitter or anything, but... Oh, yeah. No, well, yeah, obviously. It's I, not I'm jealous. You know, yeah, it's not like I've just won the jungle <laughs> and have been officially crowned an icon. And whilst we're talking of being iconic... Um... <sighs> Let's all say hello to Mr. Wild Singh. <laughs> Sam, what have you done this week to stay relevant? So, uh, on, uh, on Sunday, um, a magazine cover came out. It's called Fabulous Magazine, and I'm on the cover of it! I'm clapping myself. That's a new low. Sam <laughs> is on the cover. Is this your first ever cover? My first ever cover shoot. I've never done anything like that before in my entire life. Um, I'm going to be very honest. I called Sam, he didn't did. I? He did, actually. And I said, mate, you look great. Yeah. You're... Eyes are eyesing. Yeah. That is some very blue eyes there. You've done a really good job of covering the ball patch. <laughs> I... Don't look at me, please. Don't look at me. <laughs> um, oh. but, but, but my favourite thing is, is, is honestly the headline. <laughs> Wild scene. Dum -dum. You make my heart sing. Why are you a wild thing? I don't know. I have no idea. I the don't... last thing I'd ever describe you as is wild. It's got to be something thing. to do with the jungle, yes. maybe, as well. It's got to be something to do with that. So Fabulous is like a very well-respected, like, magazine. And, and Zara's done it. Like, loads of, like, quite big dog people I've been have up it. for it. They didn't want me. Pete's been up for it. And so when they offered to do it, I, look, I am not a model. I think we're all aware of that, like, quite off the bat. I don't know, mate. I don't know. Because you say you're not a model. Oh, for fuck's and sake. let me tell you something. He's just scrolling to page hey, three. Mr. Sexy with a lollipop. <laughs> you say you're not a model, but if that doesn't say, listen, come and I'll suck the life out of you. I don't know what will, like a lollipop. Sexy. Hey, look at you. Mate, I genuinely think it's one of the sexiest photos I've ever seen of you. And that's from Pete Wicks. That's made my day. I think you look fabulous. This one confuses me oh, because... He's literally now doing a review of the photos. I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> Do you want to know? I'll tell you what happened on because that one. Because that looks dangerous to me because if you didn't jump far enough, that's going up you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. The reason that is a photo is because things weren't going well at that point. What we've got is Sam jumping over a bollard. <laughs> Very happily, whilst dressed like he's just sold a two up, two down for right move. <laughs> but uh, mate, I think it looks great. Can I, can I, can I give you a rundown of that day? 
please. So, I well, first of all, I, look, I'm not comfortable in front of the cameras at all when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like, I'm not a model. And uh, I walk in and they basically, <laughs> they've got a mood board, right? And the mood board's Eddie Redmayne and Tom Hardy. <laughs> this is when he's holding this, son of a dog. I was like, what the fuck? What am I going to do with that? And so that that front cover photo that I'm posing in, where I've got my hands over my head, that's an Eddie Redmayne special. It's an Eddie Redmayne special. And they went, Sam, just just copy this. And I was like, but I'm not fucking Eddie Redmayne. Like, I can't do... You need Pete. And actually, incidentally, the photographer had worked with Pete before. Yeah, and I know he, Mark. He's really great. And he started being like... He even knows his name. He even said to me, he goes, see, Pete would be fine. He mugged me off. He went, Pete would be fine doing this. I and mean, we can compare my last front cover to Sam's, if you like. <laughs> I think that'd be quite good. And so, but then... It, so then it started... We, start, we, we took the shoot outside. And, uh, and so you talk about the bollard photo, right? It's because things at that point hadn't been going very well. Can you give me an example, like of like what you were being asked to do? So at one point, going. so the, so the photo before the bollard picture, which is where they just went, do you know what? Just jump over the bollard. That's kind of you, isn't it? The picture before that, I love the fact that that's kind of you is jump over a bollard. Yeah, 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 and laugh because they had tried to make me not smile. It was meant to be quite like a smoozy, like hello, look at me, I'm like sexy, right? And then I kept on smiling because it's just my natural go-to. And so then they went, they, after the photo, okay, so, so basically the photo that led us to the bollard was they went, they went, right, so with this coat, cover your face with half the coat and look out and pose. Pete, I'm going like this. <laughs> like that. And I can't stop laughing. Oh, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just do it to the camera so, so that we can get, make a still of it. Pull the microphone away. So I, right, you ready? Okay. Like that, right? But it's covering my nose like that. So I look like fucking Voldemort. <laughs> pushing my nose in like that. And I just tried to turn around to him. And I'm really sorry. I just don't think I can do this. And he went, the guy basically looked at the, at the editor and went... Mate, just jump over the bollard. He's like, I think you're that's kind of you, isn't it? You're like sort of fine. And do you know what? You can smile, it's fine. So I jumped away and went, Wee! <laughs> and jumped over the bollard. And that's the one they've used. Mate, it wasn't even meant to be. I do think it's a very you photo shoot, though. And I don't think you've done badly with that at all. Funny enough, Sam and I have actually got a photo shoot coming up together. Yeah, we do. We're going to come on. That is not going to be a funny one. It's going to be a, a serious photo shoot. And it's another front cover. Um, but the, the, how are we going to... And, and let me give you an example of how hard this is going to be for us both to do it. So, this is Sam on his... This was me on my last, my last front cover photo shoot. You want to explain what, what's happening? So, Sam is jumping over a bollard... And I, that was my last front cover, am trying to be sexy. Now, how are we going to incorporate sexy and bollard <laughs> into one front cover together? I have no idea. I can't wait. This, I cannot wait. This is going to be an absolute car crash. So Pete has decided that he's going to be our stylist. <laughs> so they went, so do you want a stylist? Pete went, no, I'll do it. Pete's styling me for our shoot. How cool is that? I don't, I, I, I don't like being styled because I like evidently to wear things that everyone hates. But that, it, anything is better than that. I cannot wait for Pete to style me. It's going to be one of the, that's going to be a moment that I think we should look deep into each other's souls and go, hey, look at us. <laughs> look at us. And we get, apparently the shoot, as Pete just said, is going to be really serious. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's just going to be a nice shoot rather than... Because the last time we did a shoot together, we were dressed up in wigs and I had lipstick on. So, <laughs> yeah. again, and I specifically... Oh, no, Pride of Britain as well, where you carried me. Yeah, or, or yeah, we, we, we do that and then they can't get a nice picture of us together. So, in the end, it's similar to what the photographer, what Mark did on that one with you, is Rudders, who's the photographer on that one, just went, I'll oh, just jump on his back or something then. <laughs> The you know what my favourite thing about these shoots that we do together now is that people just give up and just go, I'll oh, just do whatever you want. But for me, like, I, 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 I'm not obviously, evidently not a fucking model either, but I, I, I just want to get it done and get out. So I just get shit done and then go. Doing anything with Sam and any time we've had to do a shoot together. But again, some of the other shoots we've done together, we were in the bath together. <laughs> we shaved in each shower other's backs. <laughs> I shaved his chest in a photo shoot, in dressing gowns in bed. Yeah. <laughs> 
And that's because people don't know what to do with us. So how are we going to try and make an actual nice photo shoot? I mean, I, and, and what happens as well is when we do these photo shoots, I get it done and think, I never want to see that again. Sam prints them off and frames them yeah, around yeah, yeah. his house. Yeah, we've got the private walk, one. If you walk around Sam's house, I'm not even joking you, Every room has a picture of me and Sam. Yeah, it does. The office, the picture of Sam. You go through the front door, picture of me and him on the side. You go into the living rooms, picture of me and him on the bookshelf. Yeah. You go into the fucking kitchen, there's a picture of me and him on the fucking I think side. The bedroom you go. As well. That's weird. Yeah. Zara actually was like, so I placed the me and Pete. So basically, when you walk in, the first picture you see is me and Pete, and then Zara's behind it. <laughs> Absolutely wild. I've got. I'm printing out the bridge one as well. When Pete met me on the bridge. Yeah, can you do it with the back? No, like, no, no, no. I want, the, I want the sting like sting like a bee. No, I'm, I'm gonna no. have fly like a butterfly. No, it. no, please don't do that because they've included it in your fucking article here. <laughs> yeah. This is what I love. Oh, do you know what people still can't stop talking to me about? Is the editing of the photos. People can't stop talking about. It. It's so brilliant. But I do have to say one thing as well. I've realised about Pete when we um, when we do photo shoots together that Pete's a sweater. Pete's a sweater. Mm. Yeah. He likes, I do sweat. He's, yeah. a, he's a sweater on these things. But I've realised why that is. I get, let me just tell you why that is. Because every photo shoot we do, I'm holding him or carrying him. The Pride of Britain one, right? I'm not even joking. I'm going to give you an example, right? You won't be able to um, see this, obviously, if you're listening. But this is what they made me do, all right? So imagine you're the photographer. So can we do one where you're just holding Sam? Come here. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, everyone ready? And they're gone, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Come on this way. So I'm having to do this. Sam. <laughs> Like this. And then I'm going, right, go and take the pictures. And then they go, oh, hold on a minute, the light's not right. So I'm then just stood there like this going, have we ready then? And they're all fucking about with the light in and this, just getting it right. And I'm going, I'm still holding it. So true. And then the dog, there was, there was a dog as well. They're trying to get, they're trying to get in situation. And it is so true. Pete's just sat there and they're just expecting. Expecting him to hold I'm my just, weight. Uh, so I'm, I'm fucking five minutes in of holding him, shaking like a shitting dog, whilst they're trying to position a dog. And it, 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 worse than that, the last one, they're throwing balloons up, but the balloons aren't falling right. So he's shaking, and then I've got my arms round his neck, so I'm dragging his neck down. And then he wonders why I'm fucking in a fucking suit, a three-piece suit. He's and sweating. they wonder why I'm sweating his hits off. Sweating so much. <laughs> Do you know what I love, just before we move on, though? And I think this is a real staying relevant moment, is... Not long ago, less than a year ago, we were dreaming of these things. We were absolutely... Oh, don't look like that. We were One we were of dreaming. us was dreaming of these things. I, One of us was hoping to get paid for these things. I, I, I was dreaming of these things. And, 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 and now, sometimes you've just got to blink and be like, oh my God, we're actually doing it. We're, we're staying relevant. We're like in the mists of stay, trying to stay relevant. I, 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 can, I, I disagree with some of that because I don't, I, <laughs> like you are relevant. We're in the midst of doing it though. We're actually doing it. I, um. We have photo shoots together. How serious cool ones. Yeah. 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 I, I think we've come away from being a joke. But we're still laughing. Oh so. no, we're still laughing, but we're less kind of jokey. I think I would hope. No, I anyway. quite like the joke though. I'm sorry. No, but the NTA's red carpet. No, the Crocs. I like being like, like you know, it's no, but not being seen as the joke. <laughs> I quite I think like is it. the point. Well, yeah, because because you're. I really don't. We we drove scooters down the red carpet. <laughs> yeah, we raced down the red, red carpet. It was and then so cool. The other red carpet, Sam wore Crocs, and this year we have a couple of red carpet things to do, and I am I'm I'm nervous. I can't wait. I'm just so happy, and you've all been on the journey with us. So yeah, also I'm just I'm over the moon that we get to do more stuff like this together it's amazing um just before we move on to the next part of this also i, I just want to point out some of the things that are on the front cover next to wild thing king of the jungle sam thompson on life after i'm a celebrity and who he's bought a ring for clue it's not zara because i've been tagged all week in sam thompson buying me a fucking ring true or false False. Well, no, but half true. Half, semi sort of true. Everyone, it's they basically use the article to make it sound like Sam and I have got en engaged. <laughs> and I have no idea. You no, know it was actually me. I literally went, because they were asking me about Zara and rings. And I went, I went, well, no, there's not a ring for Zara, but I bought something quite special for Pete recently. And he did. And I did. I, I actually, I bought Pete a little bracelet, a little Cartier bracelet. 
I was going to say, it's not just a little bracelet. He went to Cartier. I went to Cartier and bought Pete one of them friendship bracelet things because it uh, came out. Uh, let me tell you, it's not called a friendship bracelet. It's called a love bracelet. I bought him a love bracelet. And uh, and it was to say thank you for him to coming out to Australia and, and, and doing all that for me. And I bought that. So I said that to her, but I forgot to change the word ring. So I was like, yeah, I got Pete a ring. <laughs> so, so everyone thinks that Sam and I have actually got engaged, uh, which doesn't help with the constant um, questions of, are you, are you actually together? Can I actually have it? Can I hold that quickly? You can, of course you can. It's your magazine, mate. You are, you know, whatever wild thing wants, wild thing gets. <laughs> I don't know what he said. Why? Um, anyway, yeah, good staying relevant moment. Very proud of you. Your first front cover, smashed it. Can I actually read something to you, though? Because Pete sometimes sits here and goes like, oh, you won the jungle. <clears throat> this is during my interview. They talk about, uh, so... Here we go. Sam returned to his hits radio show and he's just announced comes in all Oh, here we go. As well as being booked to host the red carpet at this year's National Television Awards alongside Pete, who he co-hosts the Staying Relevant podcast with. Come on. Uh, it goes, they will also embark on a nine-day sellout tour in the UK and Ireland in April. But then afterwards, this is what it says. Sam becomes uncharacteristically serious when asked about speculation that Pete now needs him more than the other way around. Oh, why would you read that out? Because you, say, because you say it all the fucking time on this podcast. I went, complete lie. I need Pete more than anybody would ever know. He's my brother. I couldn't think of anything worse than doing this industry on my own, he says. I sometimes feel like I get imposter syndrome and I think there's not a chance that anyone's going to ever want me because that feels like a dream. Played you all. I need Pete more than he will ever know. Is that? So you can stop on this podcast sitting there going... <laughs> so, well done on your front cover. Smashed it. Thank very you. Very impressive. I, 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 uh, I, it was very fish out of water for me, but it is... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, mean, you, you, I mean, you've kept it over there. I know, I'm going to take it home with me. Yeah, you're very... You can get your own copy. Can I? It's not the only copy that there well, is. Yeah, it's probably sold out now. Not sold out. <laughs> not, wow! No. Sorry, it's because it, wow. no, it's been a full week. So Sorry, the be... mask slipped for a minute there. But I just can't believe I'm here. I never win anything. You can get your own copy. It's probably sold out. No, what I mean is... Wow. Because it's been a week. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> it won't be in any of the shops because it's been a week. Fucking wild thing. Fucking hell. Um, well, wild thing. The next part of this is uh, what I've done to stay relevant, but I don't really know what this is because it's Sam has prepared Pete's staying relevant moment. Yes, he has. I'm not happy about this because this means that I don't know what's happening and I'm not in control. So, this. Do you have any ideas? Do you have any idea what this Pete, is? The passenger print. Does he know what this is? No. Okay, sweet. Okay, great. So, Pete's staying relevant moment is actually going to be told by me. And um, it's something that, that I've compiled <laughs> that I'm really, really happy about because I actually never noticed this in my entire life. And now I cannot stop hearing it. This is actually um, inspired by Lindsay, who sent an email with the subject, let's pick on Pete. <laughs> so, listener Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I absolutely love you. Hashtag, let's pick on Pete. Uh, it goes, hi, guys. And also, the beauty is she's a new listener as well. So she's come in and been like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> so she's come in and gone, hi, guys. I'm a newly converted listener. And I got to say, I love you both. Thank you. However, <laughs> in brackets, you'll catch on to my use of bold capitals here. <laughs> Listeners and Pete tend to give feedback on Sam's presenting style and feel it's only fair that Pete has some feedback or maybe introduce a game based on Pete's repetitive use of the word, however. <laughs> Almost as lovingly annoying as <laughs> Sam screeching like a fox on heat. <laughs> I thought she's mugged me off with that as well. And you know what I've just realised? I've screeched loads in this podcast as well. No. What do you mean by the use of the word however? You say it like that's... Well, well, interesting you say that because we at Staying Relevant Podcast have compiled an audio clip of just one show. Listen to this. However, 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 I'm... However. Gets one. However, however... However, it's gonna happen. However, however, I, however, 
However, um, however, 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 I however, however, I however, 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 you're just as annoying as I am. That's yeah. not one show. Yeah, it is. That's one show. That, that cannot be Pete, one That is taken show. out of one show. No, 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 no. Yes. Cannot. You can't argue with science. I've... <laughs> I'm not sure that's science. You can't argue with the facts, man. Well, I, I mean, listen, I, 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 I have not noticed it before. However, <laughs> now I will be more careful I about my use of however. Cannot. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Lindsay, we love you. I love it when listeners do that, though, when they come in and just absolutely just, it's brilliant. But the problem that I've got now is much like the whole screeching thing with Sam is like that it was, on it was mentioned once, so then everyone now mentions it. So now what everyone's going to do is just mention how many times I, I say it. So now I'm going to be conscious about how many times I say it. Um, Good. Because my God, is it annoying. <laughs> You'd never noticed it. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. <laughs> well, look, I take criticism very well. I've had so much fun. I've had so much fun today. We've had a really good, I think we've had quite a good show. We've had fabulous shoots. We've had me and Pete being long lost brothers. We've had Pete being annoying, which is great because it sort of levels us out a little bit there. I don't think it levels, like it doesn't level us out because like yours is annoying. Mine's just repetitive. <laughs> Guys, seriously though, from the bottom of our heart, thank you so, so much. We literally, this is, is it a year since it's been going? It, well, we did a whole anniversary birthday oh, right, episode. Okay, so it's been a year. Three, three months okay, ago. It's been just over a year, right? It's been, it's been 18 months at this okay, point. Oh, it's like a baby there. How old are you? 18 months. So we well, are I don't 18... think the baby answers at 18 months. Yeah. I don't think you say to the baby, how old are you? And he goes, 18 months, actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Coming up to my second birthday, not sure what to do with it. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> you know what I mean? We are 18 months old and to be where we are is completely down to you. So thank you so much. And uh, we're just going to keep growing. Thank you so much for listening to us. Pete, give us the outro. Um, I thought you were going to go into it. Oh, should it, I do that? Okay, cool. Well, I just, I, it just sounded like you, were, right. you well, were gearing I, up Genuinely, I, I was going to be quite proud of you. Intro and outro, everything. But you don't need to be. I think you can do I'm it. Put the cards down. Right. Thank you so much for listening to Staying Relevant, the podcast with two best friends, Blood Brothers now, actually, from years and years and years ago that we didn't even know. Still it's been problem. one hell of an episode, one hell of a ride. Now, you can catch us Mondays and Thursdays. Bonus episodes on Thursday, the main episodes on Monday, and you can watch the bonus episode on Friday, the main nope. episode. You can but watch the main episode on Friday, the bonus episode on Sunday, so that makes it Monday, Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday Sunday. Sunday, and three days to enjoy your life. There you go. And uh, you can catch us on Snappy C at Staying Relevant Podcast on YouTube at Staying Relevant Podcast. And you can see all of our clips because we post clips and every single day on Instagram and TikTok. We post clips every day. And they're actually some of my most fun bits because I love it. Because we like zoom into Pete's Clark shoes and stuff. And we just sort of like, yeah, we do fun stuff on the socials. So that's at Staying Relevant on socials. Wonderful. Rate, review, do all that crap. Um, don't mention how many times I say however. No, please do. Please, however, let's keep, change the let's However, change the keep mentioning how many times Sam shouts. Uh, lots of love. Goodbye. Fuck off. We love you so much. And we're just getting started, baby. We've got so much coming up. We've got photo shoots, red carpets. We've got TV stuff we're going to be doing together. There's a lot happening. A lot. We'll keep you updated. Have you all fallen asleep?